Fall of 2017 came and went, and all the toy companies released their new stuff, except Lennard. It was very strange. Then winter came, and those companies released second series and waves of their toys, but no core. Finally, in January of 2018, Lennard Toys released the new Rampage movie toys, which included Dwayne The Rock Johnson with the new core's articulation. About a week later, the new core figures were finally released in four three-packs. Yeah, and they stick it to us by giving us this. Rucker! Rucker! The army builder comes with Rucker! So good luck building an army of f***ing Ruckers! Yeah, but I mean, at least we get two of the new figures, so that should be alright. <sighs> all of these figures, they come with one <laughs> of the Craptastic Four! Alright, anyway, so we're gonna be looking at the second Mexican of the core. We're gonna be looking at El Jefe, so let's check him out. I'll show you anyway! This is the 2017 El Jefe. Although we got the Core Elite Tech Wars figures in January 2018, the new figures from that line, including Puma, but excluding Havoc and Wildside, were released in the Core Jurassic Clash toy line. This toy line did not make it to my part of the world, but I hope to see them at some point, because that toy line rocks. El Jefe showed up in two Jurassic Clash sets, Dino Commander, where he rides a Triceratops, and Mega Monster T-Rex that has lights and sounds. El Jefe comes in a 3-pack with another core agent, Smoke, and my least favorite figure in the entire core toy line, the Bazooka Obsessed, Bazooka. Dozer. He stinks. Bazooka. He's Bazooka. the worst. He Bazooka. can't even stand Bazooka. up. He's, he can Bazooka only move his obsessed. arms and his head and that's Bazooka it. Obsessed. And he's a solid snake Bazooka wannabe. Obsessed. His dossier really, Bazooka. really stinks too. Bazooka. That's so Bazooka. annoying! Where Bazooka is it coming obsessed. from? Bazooka obsessed. Shut Bazooka up! Obsessed. Bazooka. Yeah. These new core figures fit in the old vehicles and on the old bikes, but it's still a little awkward. Let's take a look at El Jefe's articulation. He has a swivel at the neck, his arm can go up about that high, and it can go all the way around. He has a ball joint at the elbow, so he can bend his elbow and twist it all the way around. We come down, and he does have a ball joint at the waist, so he can do one of these hula things right there, just like that. His leg can come up about that high, they're on ball joints, and come out, and he does have a bend at the knee. Now we'll take a look at El Jefe's features. He does have a faux hawk going on right there on his head. He does have maybe like a respirator type thing around his neck, I'm not sure. Almost looks like armor. You can even see uh, below that, it, it does kind of look like body armor. He does have a strap that comes all the way across and it looks like some shotgun shells on there. He does have a working holster on his chest and he does have a wearable weapons feature, so we got this small pistol that goes right in there. A strap that comes up around his shoulder. Looking around from the back, he does have more straps that holds everything together, and he has a pair of brass knuckles back there. Along his belt, he does have some pouches on the back, and uh, I'm not sure what that is, looks like a pill, pill uh, bottle or something. Coming back around, we have another uh, it looks like a pill bottle or, I don't know, another magazine and a clip in the front along with uh, two other pouches. Looking at his arms, he is very, very muscular. So muscular that we can, it looks like we can see his veins. So, uh, so yeah, he's pretty, pretty strong. And then he does have some, uh, some fingerless gloves right there on both arms. And on his arm, he does have a flame tattoo. Coming down, he does have this uh, protection in the front right there with some straps on either side. 
coming back around to his butt is just more uh, another piece of armor and straps. And then coming down his legs, he does have a big pouch on this leg here and some knee pads with the straps to go all the way around. Again, then we have the same kind of pouch on this side here, knee, uh, knee pad with straps. But below here, we do have another, um, it's not a holster, but a sheath. And that sheath would be for another wearable weapons feature for his machete. And that goes right in there. Now we come down to his boots and he is wearing some normal looking boots with some steel toes and some shoelaces. Now as you may have noticed these figures do come with their own accessories and that's mainly to, uh, to take advantage of the wearable weapons features and he comes with a machete, comes with a brown machete and I can tell you that these, uh, these, these weapons come with these body parts. So they're not uh, really just meant for this one figure. Uh, we'll see later on another figure that has the same weapons and the same body part. But uh, then we have a very small pistol. Uh, it looks like it's a revolver. So um, so yeah, so that's, that's the only two weapons that uh, this big bruiser gets. So I don't know if you've noticed, but when I try to put the weapons in, um, it does kind of, it is kind of loose on him so um, I know that uh, before I've gotten it to where I can press it down and it kind of clips in but it doesn't seem to be doing that right now so I'm not sure if that was just uh, something that I was thinking that happened and it actually didn't but um, the machete seems to be fitting a little bit better than the pistol one thing that really really bugs me about these figures is um, that at least for El Jefe here, and uh, we'll take a look when we go to the other figures, but is that he holds his weapons very, very loosely. So um, you can see right there I'm barely hitting it, and it's just so loose. And it's so loose, I mean he holds these so loose that he's not even really gripping the pistol. The pistol comes off so easily. So of course it's not now, but like, look at that, it's just... That is just a very loose fitting gun and I'll try it on both hands and it's even more loose on that hand right there. So I don't know why these are so loose. I understand that maybe I can use some heat and you know, push his hands in a little bit but if I wasn't, uh, if I wasn't a grown up and I gave this to my kid, they, first off they would lose their weapons real fast. And not only that, but do you really want your kids to be, you know, putting their hand, the, their figures' hands in boiling water to fix their hands? I didn't think so. So that's actually really annoying about this figure. Um, but I'm not going to completely blame them because it might just be my figure. So if you guys have the same problem, go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you guys have the same problem with El Jefe holding on to his weapon because that is very annoying and these are supposed to be for kids. Keeping up with elite traditions, we can find the characters bios at thecorehq.com. Codename El Jefe aka Del Toro. He is part of the Tech Hunters Specialized Mechanics Unit. Primary skills, MMA and Boxing Champ, Big Gun Ballistics. El Jefe Del Toro is from Mexico City and grew up protecting his family from the local street gangs. Despite his tough upbringing hardening him as an adolescent, most of his tattoos represent his family members and strong core values of respect and loyalty. He took a liking to boxing at a young age and by 27 he was an underground martial arts and boxing champion. After his first knee replacement, he gave up competitive fighting and joined the military to become a member of the Special Forces Corps. His time in the military reinforced his modus operandi and sticking up for the little guy. It was during his service that he also made friends with and was recruited by Rain. His size and skills with large weapons make him an unquestionable addition to the core team. El Jefe's brute force and combat experience are exactly what's needed to help defeat the curse. Okay, seriously, 
<laughs> one of his primary skills is big gun ballistics and you gave and you gave him that dinky little gun this is what he should have came with he should have came with this giant behemoth of a gun I know this is an old weapon from the corn you recruits but look at this thing this thing is still impressive and there's only one way to get it in the core elite I mean this gun is still pretty rare and since we don't see it that often it would have been great to see it come back and this time packaged with one of the new figures and he looks so awesome with this gun check that out instead he's getting this tiny derringer how lame it also says and I quote most of his tattoos represent his family members and strong core values of respect and loyalty. You mean the fire on his arm? I mean, maybe he has tattoos all over his chest. Or maybe on his... Or who knows, maybe they're all on his butt. I don't know. But the one tattoo that we see is the flame tattoo. And I don't understand how that means loyalty and respect or which one of his family members the evil one the one that went to hell is that the family member that that represents now, i think it's pretty cool that gills and el jefe are mexican this kind of thing usually doesn't happen now i know i've given el jefe grief about his weapons and his tattoos and where they might be located but it does say that he's an mma fighter and boxing champ and they totally got that look out of him. He, he totally looks like that's what he is. And that's really cool. Now, I would think if the dossier mentions anything about tattoos or weapons, uh, that would be important enough to give him these things. Uh, it's only fair, right? Uh, you're telling us what he likes and what he has. And he doesn't have either one of those two things. So that was the 2017 El Jefe from the Core Elite Tech Wars. If you enjoyed the review, make sure you give it a like. If you want more behind the scenes kind of stuff and what's going on, you can check out my Facebook page and Instagram. Both of them are Raz Holly. We'll see you next time when we take a look at the Curses Titan.